Today, we're going to release some documents. Yo, it's time to tune in to Joey's To Catch a Predator channel. He's going to give you the backstory. He's going to show you where they are today. This is Seizure Machine. Let's go. Since 2015, Joey's TCAP. We got letters from Predators. Motherfucker, take a seat. I light a bloodstained cigarette. And, I, and you know what? I, I That's one thing that I specifically remember. Yeah? I was... ESPN was on. I tried to... <laughs> it was on mute. It was on mute. I tried to turn it up. I'm trying to listen to ESPN while, while I'm waiting. There's no batteries in the remote. I couldn't turn it up. What's going on? What's, you tell me what's going on. Your dad or something? What are you doing here? I'm David. How are you doing? David, I'm Chris. Nice to see you. How's everything? Hey, NBC, two words, role-playing, chat room, dude, because the girl was role-playing, man. NBC again. How y'all doing, NBC? It turns out there was at least one thing he said earlier that turned out to be true. I happen to know law enforcement. You do see he has quite a long rap sheet. In 2002, he led police on a high-speed chase in a stolen car. He was also convicted of grand theft and trying to sell the stolen goods. And twice, he was convicted of battery. But let me tell you about that day. I believe it was um, November 21st, 2008. That's the day we went to court and we had our experts. And we had the hard drives and we had the reports and we were going to tell the judge, you got no case because all the evidence was tampered with. That day, the, the, the prosec uh, prosecutor said, uh, I'll uh, plea him down to this and uh, he can go home today. So what would you do? 30 months in jail. Today... We're going to have a lesson on civics and what it means to have rights in America. Problem today is too many of you motherfuckers are ready to hand over your motherfucking rights and let them just walk all over you for what? And then you stand there and sit there in judgment. Trying to judge me like I'm the criminal. Well, folks, let's take a look. Yo, this is for all them fucking haters out there, bro. My name is David Wesley Schumacher Jr., bitch. All you motherfuckers on the internet, you better get your facts straight, bro. You want to know about some facts? Fact is, motherfuckers, Dateline. words in my mouth. I ain't never been convicted of no sex crime, bitch. This is the third and probably final update we're doing on the recent David Schumacher saga. To recap, on the very in the very early morning of December 10th, 2020, a woman who was parked at a Punta Gorda 7-Eleven gas station left her car to help another woman change a flat tire when suddenly she heard her car start up. She saw David in the driver's seat and screamed at him to get out. The police responded, and Schumacher told the police that the car contained nuclear cases. He was arrested, and he was charged with grand theft auto and misdemeanor burglary uh, that was later changed to trespass. David sat in jail until his competency hearing in April of 2021. A psychiatrist examined David and determined he was unfit to stand trial due to his inability to behave in court to understand the nature of his charges and that he suffered from psychosis and that he is delusional, which makes him unable to appreciate his situation and makes him self a potential danger to people that he doesn't deem friendly or safe. So David was ordered to be remanded to a mental institution. However, there was no room available at the mental hospital, so he stayed in jail for another seven months um, until he decided to finally plead guilty in November of 2021. The court refused his plea, however, and informed David that they finally had a bed available for him at the mental hospital. So David was sent off to the mental hospital, and he sent a request for a new competency hearing, um, which the court uh, 
accepted, then denied, and then finally accepted again early in 2022. This time, David was declared competent to stand trial, and he was sent back to the Charlotte County Jail. He pled guilty, and he was sentenced to 457 days, or about 15 months, time served. And he became a free man on March 15th of this year. And he has not been rearrested for over a month which for a man who has spent more than 11 of the last 19 years incarcerated, this is not a small feat. So congrats, David.